Last night, we took you down to San Francisco, the piers down there, to catch a glimpse of where Reno's all-you-can-eat sushi comes from. That was a good one. It was good, right? Yeah, it was good. Very strong. Today, we're taking you inside one of the fish rooms in town to see what happens once that fresh fish gets here. Ryan Canada watched all of this fast-paced action. He joins us live in the studio with a closer look at this story you'll see only on Channel 2. Hi, Ryan. What else can you tell us here? Well, you know, this is the fun stuff to watch, Landon, especially if you like the smell of fish. The team over at Sierra Meat and Seafood handles fresh fish from around the world every single day. When a new delivery comes in, the team works quickly to get it right back out the road and into our local restaurants. Here's a look at the, what the work that they do each day. While many of us are still sleeping, crews are hard at work before the sun comes up at Sierra Meat and Seafood. It comes on a refrigerated truck from the Bay Area. The company just received thousands of pounds of fresh fish from San Francisco. Nikki, that's it! And then has just hours to get the product to dozens of restaurants and stores throughout Reno and Tahoe. So the temperature control is very important here at Sierra Meat and Seafood. From the truck to here in the warehouse to over here in the fish room, the temperature is kept to 34 to 38 degrees the whole time. No more, no less. That way that you can ensure quality and freshness for the fish. From mahi-mahi to oysters and tuna to salmon, each product arrives in boxes filled with ice. That's blue-nosed blue -nose sea, sea bass from, from New Zealand. Some of the fish comes whole, others without the head and innards. This allows for a better shelf life once it reaches its final stop. And we like to custom cut it, hand cut it, per order. Some items are sliced into loins that weigh between 10 to 30 pounds. The size depends on the request made by each sushi restaurant. It's then repackaged and iced once again to keep the fish nice and cool. The fish is then weighed to order and labeled accordingly for the buyer. Once everything is resealed and placed back onto the pallets, it's then ready for shipment. This fish will be in a restaurant this evening. On this particular morning, the fish team pulled more than 150 orders in less than two hours. And believe it or not, that's considered an easy morning because of the time of the year. We're kind of in our slow season right now. October, November is a little bit slower. And then as December comes, the holidays come, then things really start picking up. Now, if you missed last night's story in our Peer to Plate reports, you can find that story posted on our website, ktvn.com. Tomorrow, we're going to finish things off here when we show you the final stop that these fish make on their journey. That's inside the local sushi restaurants, where you get to enjoy the seafood firsthand. Covering the story live in the studio, Ryan Canada, Channel 2 News. Mm. I've always wondered where all this fish comes from, living in the desert, you know? Yeah, so many people have actually come up to me after seeing Ryan's story yesterday, at, wondering the same exact thing. So yeah. it's kind of cool that we're finally getting an answer here. It's super fresh, apparently. All yeah. right, good yeah. work, Ryan. Thank you.